In this video, I will show you how to read the data of the file appsettings.json, which is this file. So I will show you how to read three types of data. The connection string, which is available under connection strings, the settings parameters, and this key. So I will show you how to read this file from two locations, from program.cs and also from index.cshtml.cs, which is this file. So let's start with program.cs. So to read appsettings.json from program.cs, we need to use this variable, which is called builder. First, let's read the connection string. So let's create a variable and let's call it connection string. So it is equal to builder dot configuration dot get connection string. Then between parentheses, we have to provide the name of the connection string. So the connection string is available under connection strings and is called default connection. So let's copy it and let's paste it just here. Now let's read the data of the settings key. So let's read the app name, the contact email, and the address. So let's create additional variables. So first let's read the app name. So here we have to write builder.configuration. Then between brackets we have to provide a string that contains the key. So first we have to provide this key. then column, then app name. And we can do the same thing to read the other parameters of the settings key. So here we will read the contact email which is available under settings and here we will read the address which is also available under settings. Now let's read the theme. So it is equal to builder dot configuration. Then between brackets, we have to provide a string that contains the key. So in the case of the theme, we have just to provide the name of this key. Then we can display the value of these variables on the console. Now let's test the application. And here we have the data of appsettings.json on the console. Now I will show you how to read the data of appsettings.json from a razor page. So let's go to index.cshtml.cs. And to read the data of appsettings.json, we need first to request an object of type I configuration. So we can request it from the service container and we can request it in the constructor of this class. So first let's create the constructor. Then let's request an object of type I configuration. Let's call it configuration. And now we can use this object to read upsettings.json. So let's go to program.cs and let's copy all of this code. Let's paste it here. Then let's replace builder.configuration with configuration. Let's save the file and let's test the application. So here we have the data that we read from program.cs and this is the data that we read from index.cshtml.cs.